In many areas, civilization has damaged our rural and wild lands. But in the Missouri River Basin, habitat once destroyed is now being restored. Native plants, grasses, and trees are returning. Aquatic and land habitat is being created to welcome back native animals. The Missouri River Recovery Program is a cooperative effort to balance the need for a more sustainable ecosystem with the many other uses of this historic river. By building new habitat and raising native species, the Missouri River Recovery Program is working to recover the populations of several endangered and threatened species. Protecting these species is part of the Corps' responsibility to comply with the Endangered Species Act by implementing the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's 2003 amended biological opinion on the operation and maintenance of the Missouri and Kansas rivers. These recovery efforts create a healthier river ecosystem. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is leading the effort in close cooperation and coordination with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, American Indian tribes, states, agencies, and stakeholders. The Missouri is the nation's longest river, meandering more than 2,300 miles from its headwaters in Three Forks, Montana, before joining the Mississippi River near St. Louis, Missouri. Historically, the Missouri River was one of the most productive ecosystems on Earth. The dynamic nature of the river was the key factor in creating this successful ecosystem. Flooding in the spring and summer months eroded the river's banks and created new habitat for the river's many species. However, the river could also be treacherous for ships and nearby farms and communities. Therefore, starting in the early 1900s, Congress charged the Army Corps of Engineers with taming the river to support navigation and agriculture and to protect communities from flooding. These river alterations came at a high cost for the river's ecosystem and native species. The Missouri River literally used to migrate overnight and so during a flood event, the channel would shift. So the Corps of Engineers was directed by Congress to go in, and, which really led to the construction of the dams and the bank stabilization. Well, what we've learned since then is that has environmental consequences, and these consequences have impacts on the floodplain, it has impacts on the fish and wildlife, it has uh, impacts on how we use the river. And so the recovery program is an effort to start to change, mitigate, uh, diminish some of those adverse impacts that have been created by the channelization and the dam construction. Restoring the Missouri River ecosystem to a more sustainable form is no small task. Millions of acres of natural river habitat have been altered and must be strategically replaced. Many species that lived in these habitats are now in danger, such as the endangered pallid sturgeon, the endangered least tern, and the threatened piping plover. At the same time, the river's other uses must be preserved, including agriculture, commerce, conservation, energy, natural resources, navigation, recreation, residential and urban uses, and water supply. The Missouri River Recovery Program is focused on developing and maintaining this important balance. Its vision, a sustainable ecosystem supporting thriving populations of native species while providing for current social and economic values. One of the exciting aspects of the Missouri River Recovery Program is that while we design restoration efforts to benefit fish and birds, is the linkage back to people. The white-tailed deer population, the duck population, the catfish population are also bringing people back to this river to enjoy these tremendous resources found in concert with these restoration efforts. A lot of the restoration activities have been aimed at endangered species, but what we're finding out for the umpteenth time is that what's good for a pallid sturgeon or a piping plover is also good for people. Local communities the, are finding that there's a diversified economy that's being built around restoration efforts, and it's a, it's a really exciting program to be watching as it's coming online these last few years. A big part of recovering the ecosystem and the populations of its native species is restoring habitat. The Army Corps of Engineers uses machinery and the natural power of the river to recreate fish and wildlife habitat while at the same time maintaining a safe channel for river commerce and providing increased flood protection for communities and farms along the river. 
These habitat recovery sites spread along the Missouri River collectively form ideal areas for fish and wildlife and are the basis for the reestablishment of a viable Missouri River ecosystem. Another important piece of species recovery for the endangered pallid sturgeon is raising sturgeon in hatcheries and introducing them in the river. While this is not the solution to saving the species, hatchery efforts replace missing generations and preserve the population while the river's ecosystem is restored. I'm the manager of the Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery in North Dakota, and what we do is we raise uh, all kinds of fish for sport fishing, um, recreational fish, and recovery. And one of the things that we're working on recovery-wise is the pallet sturgeon. The pallet propagation efforts are really have been a, a collaborative effort, not only between the, the service and the states, but also between the service and many other partners. The Army Corps is not alone in these efforts. The American Indian tribes, states and towns along the river, the agencies responsible for river resources and organizations all have a stake in the management of the river. All these groups are working in a collaborative process to make informed, responsible decisions about recovery efforts. The Nature Conservancy is glad to be participating in the recovery of the Missouri River. The river is such an important natural resource for the region and the nation. We're glad to be playing our part, whether it be conservation planning, or energizing our, and informing our members about what's taking place on the Missouri River, helping out any, any way we can and uh, look forward to strong partnerships with the states, federal agencies, tribes and other organizations in pulling together and fully uh, realizing recovery of the Missouri River. Navigation, agriculture, communities and natural areas all existing side by side benefits everyone through increased flood and levee protection, enhanced recreation opportunities, maintaining communities agricultural production and efficient river commerce. Realizing the Missouri River Recovery Program vision won't be easy. It will require financial support, creativity and cooperation from all of us. Nonetheless, the Army Corps believes the Missouri River ecosystem can be revitalized for the benefit of all the basin's inhabitants. Recovery efforts will maintain a healthy and economically viable Missouri River for future generations to enjoy. The benefits of a healthy, thriving, balanced river ecosystem will far outweigh the actual costs of recovery efforts. <laughs>